Hey guys, Nick here with Nick Does YouTube, and what did you do today? I went to work. Nearly all my videos start like that, sort of excited up here, turning and I don't know why. I honestly don't know why. But I've been watching videos on YouTube tonight, and apparently it's a common thing may only be in Amer America. I don't know because I haven't really met many bearded people. But apparently it's quite common. You can see what my camera can see in my glasses. But apparently it's quite common to name your beard, name your facial hair. And the video I was watching, this guy had like a really good backstory for how he got the name for his. He kind of believes that we as humans were put on this earth with abilities. Men have certain abilities that women can't do. Women have certain abilities men can't do. We're still equal. Like Our abilities don't make us any better than the opposite sex, so forth. But growing hair, particularly facial hair, is one of the things that he mentioned, and it was quite interesting, because he named his facial hair Man, M-A-N-N, Lee, L-E-E, Wright, or something like that. Or Ability. I, I can't remember what the last part is, but I, I thought it was rather nifty and cool and interesting. And it got me thinking. I've never really thought of naming my facial hair so far. And with the ambition of growing it bigger and longer and me purchasing a grooming kit on the internet tonight, I sort of had a look at, saw some great beards of history and kind of went through and was looking to see if any kind of like popped out for me and that's when it hit me came across a picture of Charles Darwin I'm quite partial to his theories of evolution and his beard is sort of this style just sort of everywhere growing sort of look but most of the pictures I've ever been able to find of him he's got grey hair and balding and whatnot. But it kind of backs up, because the other day I referred to myself as a caveman, I think, after making a wolfman reference and then taking the wolfman reference back, I think. I think, I think, I think, I think, I think. I've said that a lot already this video. But yeah, I've, I thought, Charles Darwin, awesome beard. Pioneer of, well wouldn't say pioneer, but very well known for his observations of evolution. And I thought, well, I can't really use Charles because I've got a good friend who I refer to as Charles, as his name is Charlie. So I'm thinking Darwin. I'm going to sort of test it out, sort of see if it sits with me, see if it sticks. If not for comedic reasons, I thought Saint, because Saint Nicholas show up together. But that one's kind of a bad joke, and I don't feel like it fits as well. But yeah, I'm thinking Darwin. Because it's me evolving from a boy into a man. I shouldn't make references like that. That makes me... I feel like that makes me sound a bit vain. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking testing that name out for a while. Can't wait till this grooming kit shows up. Comes with beard oil, which kind of helps keeps it conditioned and similar to putting leave-in product in your hair. Comes with a pair of handmade combs, so it doesn't have any 
little sharp edges such as molding lines that you'd normally see on a comb. Um, not that you'll really be able to see it, but you'd see across the back end of a comb. And comes with moustache balm, which I think must just hold it in place so that it doesn't look uneven at all. And I'm very excited for this stuff to show up. But I think it's really cool. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, what do you guys think? Are you guys kind of like interested in seeing where this facial hair goes? What do you think? Facial hair? No facial hair? Most of my family thinks I should get rid of it because I look younger without it. I like it except I don't... There's a patch under there that it just won't grow. may have something to do with the scars across... Not that you'll be able to see it through the hair. I've got scars on my chin and kind of my lip. Where from my understanding I fell against a log or a piece of wood when I was a lot younger. I'm not sure though. So if you guys have any cool stories about scars or anything from when you were a wee little kid, let me know in the comments below. Or if you're interested in beard stuff, let me know. I'm more than happy to do a product review on this kit. Once again, let me know. Can we hit four likes in this video? Got to understand how a camera works. Closer gets bigger, further away gets smaller. But yeah, let me know. This has been Nick with Nick Does YouTube talking about beards. Enjoy the rest of your evening and celebrate the Sabbath every day of the week. Enjoy. See ya.